The other problem with a coordinator or facilitator, IC, is a chain of command. Because Dr. Littlefield directs our principals, our principals run the schools. A facilitator comes around at the end and is directed directly by the SIU and doesn't work for the principal within the school. And uh, to me, that's kind of a problem to direct that energy within the school and to get done what you need to get done. So to me, I think a model where we have that, that coordination and facilitation operating right under the principal's guidance makes more sense because the principal's there every day, he's running the school, he's keeping track of all the data that's going on there. So to me, I, you know, I think it's, and it also serves, I know that our teachers are stressed, but we're in a position here where I think we're all understanding the pain to hire anybody at this point, whether you think, whichever way you think it is. So if it's gonna be the reality that we can't, then we've gotta look at some of these other issues and see, uh, you know, some of these other methods of doing it and see what works. And, um, you know, I, I look at it as if we can stipend teachers and so forth, we're not taking on that cost. And, and that's a major concern. So I'm telling you that this is a professional judgment. I'm not gonna debate it. I'm right. I'm right because I got my doctorate to learn how to do that and other people didn't. I I'm not in favor of having a Common Core facilitator, another administrator or a person that's not a classroom <coughs> teacher. I'd rather, even if it's not, even if it's not talking about saving the money, even if we keep a classroom teacher there position, I just don't think that uh, that Common Core facilitator is very useful. Um, as a teacher, I, I have more faith, I guess, in the teachers. Uh, books it that they are able to uh, assimilate into this this program and I know it's a complicated program but I mean this my I myself in about 10 minutes going online I could find a lot of information and resources about the common core activities that you can use in the classroom and, and other things and I uh, and a budget is a statement of the financial resources that are needed to accomplish organizational goals and that's how that's how i approach a budget and one of my organizational goals and and, and i respect policymakers right to disagree with me uh, although sometimes i feel a little zing because i don't know why i went to school and got my doctorate and all that kind of stuff uh, it's quite that simple to second guess. Uh, Dr. Littlefield, I would I'd like to let you know that I am offended by this is the second time that you've used your doctorate degree and, and characterized my opinion as second guessing. I'm an elected official on this board, and when I give my opinion or when I give an alternate view, I really don't appreciate the fact that it seems as a second guess to your degree. I've never challenged your degree or your ability. All I've done is put forth some alternative points of view and ask for clarification. And this is the second time it's happened and I, I really wish we could avoid that. I, I don't need a degree to be elected to this board. Point of order, um, this, this has anything to do with the motion. I understand that you could express this, but we're, not, we're in the deliberation of yes, the motion, correct? Yeah. I, mean, I, I can understand that you'd like to express those concerns, but I just would like to because what he was stating was about this process. It should be discussed at an SAU board meeting in private, not Dr. Littlefield was voicing his opinion about this issue based on his doctorate degree. Agree? Not within this motion. Just before the motion took place, we were discussing this issue. Do you agree? Mr. Chair, if you, if you do not want to call a point of order, then there's no discussion between you and I. Thank you. What I, what I can say is I, I didn't hear him direct anything it, it, it you did. And, and uh, you know, uh, whether, whether it's, whether it's a, you know, a, a, a point of order, I, he definitely made comments, but there was nothing directed at you. Was it, was it directed at, 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 I mean, it was part of the discussion, so. Well, it was a board meeting. I'll leave it at that. I didn't want to make a big issue of it, but you know, 
we, I don't want us on this board to be afraid to bring something up because it's going to be seen as naive or uneducated that we're proposing something. We're, we're here to offer opinions and to learn about what's going on in this school. And I think I had a very fair question here. I'm opposed to voting for these budget numbers and voting to move this at the same time. And I tried to clarify that with Dr. Littlefield in the beginning. In the beginning, it seemed as though it were two separate issues. And now it's become one. I think one here is the budget, what we're going to approve. And then two is what is the strategy as far as where the teachers are assigned. So I'm opposed to this motion based on that fact. I thought we were here to discuss the budget first and then the strategy not in a budget uh, discussion. 